really quick while I have you. Philo, have you heard about it? Oh, it's the best. They're giving you 25% off two months of Hallmark, Lifetime, Up, GAC, The Sorts. The movies we're talking about, Philo. 25% off. Philo.tv slash DTH. Don't, don't let this, don't let this pass you by. Philo.tv slash DTH. Here's the episode. Hi, I'm Bran, and I love Hallmark Christmas movies. Hey, I'm Panda, and I like Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark Christmas movies, and this is the Deck Deck the the Hallmark Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. Oh, it's Friday, Friday, gotta get get down on Friday. Looking forward to the CCB. Yeah. Mm-mm. Hey, everybody. Mm-mm. It is uh, Friday. We've uh, we've done it. We've done it. We are uh, now, after today's episode, we're officially caught up. That's right. Oh, man. Until tonight, 20, when a new movie airs. That's right. <laughs> 28 in the can. That's right. In, 29, including Crashing. Right. 29 yeah. out of the 41. Wow. So that's 12 more. Three more weekends. All in, all done. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. It, it goes by so quick. It really does. It does. It actually does. Thanks After Thanksgiving, it feels like it's over. Yep. Which this week has taken its toll. Yeah, We're, we we have we aged. Yeah, we have significantly aged during this week, for sure. And that's saying something for you, Panda. Yeah, no, I, I don't have many years left. Uh, at this point, guys, I'm... Someone uh, dropped off a casket. I don't... They, and it was... They just, there was a mirror in it. They just... It was, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good bit. You want to give any inside information behind Ask that joke? Live show. Ask us at a live show about yep. that joke. I'll tell you the whole thing. It's a great joke. <laughs> I stand by everything that happened. No, with you that. don't. You could. No, you don't. I think it was alive. great. Couldn't possibly stand by I everything. I do. I think it it was impactful. All right. Well, it made an impact. Um, speaking of making an impact, guys. Yeah, that Greenville. Did Man. you hear this news, <laughs> dude? Yeah, that Greenville's. I think I I don't want to say that we are responsible for this. But, but I think we probably had t- some say in it for yes. sure. So some who it. who even did this? Somebody came out, Southern Living or something like yeah. that, and said, hey, uh, Hallmark Town, you want one? Greenville, South Carolina. We're on a list of Hallmark Towns. Yes. One of the mm-hmm. best Christmas towns for a Hallmark movie. Unbelievable. Now, were they were we on lists before we started talking about yeah that Greenville? It's country yeah, Living don't. Magazine. Country Living. Yeah. That's right. Well, or, if anyone would understand Country Living, it would be that's that us. magazine. And we would too. And we're country boys. Yep. Greenville's Ice on Main, the Festival of Trees. We've talked about both of those on this podcast. Ad infinitum. Yep. We've talked about them ad nauseum would be better right? there. And, if and they, they mention them in, in Country Living. So nope. I, th- I, think. I think they've been listening to our yes. podcast and just kind of assumed. And so you're welcome, City of Greenville, but also it is true. It really yes. is like a real-life Christmas town. Tonight, we have our Christmas tree lighting. Tomorrow, right. we have our Christmas parade. Christmas parade. Uh, a lot of fun things going on around Hallmark. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Around Greenville. You see what I did? Oh, I think so. Oh, this is true. Oh, oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. Look out. What happened? Did you uh, hit it? Maybe. <laughs> Could have been anybody. You guys, you know what else I'm also loving this holiday season is the yum yums. Oh, oh man. my gosh. Yum yums is crushing. And uh, that holiday box. The holiday box is coming. We are going to do an unboxing of a holiday box, I believe, next week. And I'm wow. very excited about it. Mm. A holiday dope. box is fun times. Yeah, it is. Fun times, yeah, hodgepodge, big beluga. Funds. Uh, you can go to universalyums.com, uh, use the promo code Hallmark, and uh, just kind of finish your Christmas shopping. Yeah. Done and done. Perfect way to do it. Uh, we're talking Christmas contest. Uh, which is the CCB movie of the year. That's right. Which uh, we just found out, uh, as of recording this, I believe uh, today or yesterday, the ratings came out. Dethroned. Dethroned not, for the second year in a row. Not top two. No, no. not top two. Didn't even, uh, is she top three? She's top two for Christmas. No. Who's above her? My family Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. My Christmas right. family tree. My family Christmas tree. Yeah. My Christmas family tree. It's one of those one two. One of those two. And yeah. then... Uh, Christmas yeah, so Castle Heart. Yeah. Unbelievable. And then she, I believe, is third for Christmas. The thing that I was uh, blown away by is that almost a million less viewers 
watch Candace's movie this year versus last year. What was it? Did it air also on a Sunday last year too? To be fair, after last year, they all should have left. <laughs> was that a Sunday? To yes, Sunday? she always gets yeah. to Sunday by herself. Since we've been watching them, Christmas. See, she I didn't Christmas, get to Sunday by herself though. But she got she had the six. I'm sorry, so she got Sunday without any other competition because they would do a ten o'clock. I see. Homer movies mysteries, but she had his Christmas was Sunday. You know, a journey back, or we didn't do journey back to Christmas. All of her movies that we've seen have been on a Sunday night. I, you see, I think they're placing her on the wrong night. I think she but would get better on a Friday or a Saturday night. I thought night. that, but I'm telling you, that night has always been the ratings king until the last two years. Christmas Waltz barely beat it last year, and then this year, Lacey just ran ragged over it. And I don't think it's because it's on Saturday. I just think CCB's kind of... I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But I will say this. Hallmark did their thing, the doubling up on uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It did really well for them rating-wise. Each of those movies got over 2 million uh, viewers uh, live real time. And so, uh, and the Thursday night did as well. So kudos to them for trying a new thing, and it actually worked out for them. Good for them, Uh, man. So maybe bad news for us next year when they decide to do that every single weekend. Uh, But, uh, yeah, cool cool for them. And um, uh, we're still trying to find the fine print of the GAC ratings. We'll let you guys know. We'll get there. uh, Yeah. The the last I heard, I believe the brand shirtless with Tyler Hines outperformed the Trevor Donovan movie. Uh (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's close. It's neck and neck. We're hoping to win out at least in the demo. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, we're we're slaying in the demo. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. You ready to dive into the Christmas contest? Yes, yeah, let's please. Do it. Who are you? Uh, it's just me. Are you sure? No. Yeah. Are you sure? No. <laughs> Originally on November 28th, and it went a little something like this. CCB's name is Lara. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> Laura. And uh, she's a COO. She's a boss babe. She's a coo. <laughs> coo, coo. Coo, coo. Coo, coo, coo. Um, she used to untangle lights, but she doesn't have time for that anymore. Ben Winters is a professional baseball player turned jerky salesman who is the type of guy who waves at cardboard cutouts of himself when he walks by. Lara Lara's mom is worried about her not having time for Christmas like she used to. So she tells her about the Daytime Denver's Christmas contest where she could win money for charity and get her into the Christmas spirit again. And this uh, works. She writes a uh, an essay about what Christmas means to her. And uh, Ben also enters the contest mainly to get his jerky out into the world. But obviously, both Ben and Lara uh, have been selected to join the contest along with three other people. We quickly find out that they have a past. The type of past, and they were the type of couple that was uh, super competitive, especially when it came to random Christmas trivia. Uh, They both keep buzzing in at the same time and yelling answers, but they both get points and they both move on to the second round. For the next round, they have to bake and Lara decides uh, to bake with a bunch of elderly people and Ben does the opposite and bakes with a bunch of kids. Ben accidentally spills gumdrops everywhere and uh, Lara uh, spills, uh, slips on the spill and falls into her cake. But lucky for her, some uh, girl's gingerbread must have tasted like straight trash uh, because she moves on. Uh, Ben and Lara have a picture of them getting all kissy kissy with Santa goes viral. Thanks to the tabloids picking up that local Denver uh, tea. Uh, It's all anyone's talking about. The next competition is some sort of singing performance thing that I wish I could tell you more about, but I just can't at this point in time. But all I do know is that Ben and Laura go to the finals. Ben comes over one night and does a shadow puppet show to impress. And it does. Um, But uh, there's some serious flirty flirty going on. Ben is on cloud nine, and the next day he's like, my world has been changed. I would like to now start a nonprofit and do that all year round. Jerky's in my past, nonprofits in my present and future. And she's like, I know you, you're going to flake on this, but I guess, uh, you know, that doesn't stop her from quitting her job the next day and wants to dive head first into this thing. And then he's like, hey, maybe you should just slow down a little bit. And she's like, I knew it. You're going to flake. And I want you to know that, and this is her words, she's freaking amazing. Then she tears apart a Christmas tree. Things got real 
real fast. Uh, Laura's mom realizes that she's the worst, so that's good for everyone. Uh, and it's uh, time for the final of the contest, and um, she, like, Laura did, just didn't do a tree. Then Ben did a tree upside down, um, and somehow they both win. <laughs> You know how it goes. Uh, they decide to split the money, splitsy splitsies, and they're going to go uh, and do the nonprofit thing together. And I bet they're going to date. The movie ends with them doing a big old kiss. And that, my friends, was the, the Christmas, Christmas contest. contest. We did it. We did it. We did it. CCB, everybody. CCB. People are liking this one, Brian. Burp, burp, burp. People are liking this People one. People are liking this one. They are. Is that what you're saying? A lot of positive buzz out there. From who? <laughs> the the viewers. The viewers? That's right. Hi, oh, guys. That's right. Hi, guys. It's me, Thomas. Hi, Thomas. You got any questions for me? I don't have anything for you because I did not know you were coming uh, on the show. I have a couple. Yes, uh, good. Good. Great. Yeah. Go hey, ahead, uh, what do you think of the CCB movie? I didn't see it. Next question. Uh, What's your favorite milkshake? I have not had one. Next question. Um, What's your favorite color? I have, I'm colorblind. Next question. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do during your day? I try to sleep. Next question. <laughs> I've got nothing, Thomas. Thank you. I need one more question. Okay. Um, what, what's your favorite word? Thomas, out. It's <laughs> weird. Let's take a quick break here and take the homework. Yes. You almost, yeah. I, 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 I just, at this point, I just don't even. I don't know I, why you're dealing with the cloud anymore. <laughs> Backblaze, unlimited storage. Never get another one of those messages ever again. Seven bucks a month. That's less than you're paying just for the dumb insurance on your phone. Get the Backblaze. Somehow on my phone, like with the uh, iCloud and my you Apple. You can like $25 it's for always, extra storage. But I'm all, it's all, Apple's always like, it's, it, it's, this is too much for me to yeah, handle. I don't know. No that. matter what. Yeah. You're not going to worry about that with Backblaze. Backblaze unlimited. is unlimited. Unreal. And they have, uh, they've helped restore over 55 billion files. That's, That's right. so many files. So many Try files. to count them. One, One two, two. Go to Backblaze.com. 55 billion. Deck. I did it. <laughs> backblaze.com slash deck to get a 15 day free trial that's backblaze.com slash deck to get a 15 day uh, free trial to start uploading those suckers unlimited files from backblaze speak speaking of unlimited files have i introduced you to unlimited file low Oh, oh hey, 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 can I say it? Can I say it? Your holiday movie <laughs> hub. Yeah. yeah. Unlimited. Philo. Philo.tv slash DTH. Get you 25% off of two months right now. Get that unlimited DVR. Get all your channels for holiday movies and others. It's the best TV around. What's a Philo? No, you don't worry, Thomas. Okay, bye. I gotta say, Thomas, uh, kind of <laughs> wet blanket, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I don't think seems so. to never want hey to give an answer. Hey yeah, guys. Thomas. What's a wet blanket? Um, it's when you just ruin everything. <laughs> you think I do that? I mean, anytime people ask you what your favorite color is, and you say, even colorblind people have a favorite color. <laughs> do you? Are you colorblind? I am a little bit. No, you're not. I am. What color am I wearing? Chartreuse. <laughs> you anyone got any questions? One no, more question. One more question. Do you what? like? Do you like your birthday? <laughs> I was created in a lab. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> man, he found his way out of that one. <laughs> Throw Kyle X Y set. Truman what? Show situation. <laughs> <laughs> belly button on that. Belly I am so. <laughs> he is Kyle I'm X thankful y. we brought it back to Kyle X Y. <laughs> man, it wouldn't be a holiday season, no, everybody. We did. Holy it. Oh my gosh. You think maybe Jesus has a belly button? Yeah! Wow! Yes! Yes! He does. <laughs> last year. Yes, the wrong. <laughs> That's a terrible question. No, last year. It's a callback. No, you guys don't remember this. Last year, you did a bit where you said that he didn't have a belly button, and we fell for it for a second. <laughs> that sounds like me. That's great. I love it. I love it. I'm here for it. That was a good bit. Um, you guys, want to let Panda give a hot take? Uh, let's do that. Hot He's take, really good at Christmas it. contest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, GQ has, a, you're off the list now. Yeah. 
It's been wow. a tough week. Well, that's that's good because there was a lot of pressure on me. You and, know, Patrick uh, Harris I think maybe skyrocketed. Bobby Graham is the reason for that. He's yeah. it's actually uh, I don't remember his last name, but he's three and he's like head of the Graham Cracker Mob, and yeah. he wanted wants everybody to call him Bobby Graham, and so yeah. we do Bobby that's Graham. Right, buddy. And he he didn't think that you, he, uh, Panda yeah. put in the work. That's right, Bobby buddy. Graham's on the line. Yeah, buddy. What do you have against Panda, Bobby Graham? Oh, I got nothing against Panda, but I got a lot of Graham Crackers, sucker. <laughs> So you traded Panda's spot on the list for Graham Crackers. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. I know you would, Bobby he, Graham. He's, heart, he's uh, heartless. <laughs> ruthless. He is. That's a good Graham. <laughs> Panda? Uh, yeah, so considering uh, the, the CCB movie we got last year, this movie looks like a freaking masterpiece. Well, yeah. Uh, it's okay. Uh, it's it's not bad, uh, and I'll tell you one of the reasons why it's elevated uh, is because of Ben in this movie, uh, the love interest. He does an absolutely phenomenal job, and I feel like Candace plays really well off of him in this. Uh, obviously, they have a history. They have a past. They were on Fuller House together, uh, but he brought so much fun and quirkiness to the movie, at least initially. I think that the first half of this movie is much stronger and more compelling to watch than the second half. Once they start really falling in love and he loses a lot of that goofy edge and it takes a turn for the more serious, um, this movie is, is not very interesting to me. That doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that the first half of this movie is, is I think, a fairly fun movie to watch and somehow they lose that. And I, I don't... I think it takes place after they have the whole baking scene with the Yule log yeah. and everything. And it start, once it, it steps out of that, he loses that quirky, quick dialogue that he was doing. And it just, man, it just, it becomes a kind of standard Hallmark movie, which is fine. But I felt like they, they were on pace to have something really special with this movie. That's just me. I, I You know, it, it wasn't bad. It, I was pleasantly surprised by this, especially considering what we got last year. Um, but, you know, I still feel like it fell short of, of, of achieving what could have. If they had kept the pace they were in the first half of this movie, it probably would have ended up in my top 10. I was really loving wow. uh, Ben. I thought right. it was a fun movie. John Brotherton is who we're looking John for. Brotherton. John yeah. Brotherton, uh, yes. I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would. I really appreciate his performance, but it, the second half of this movie didn't land it for me. Does he have a? Does he have many brothers? A ton. A ton. A ton of them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Santa, red suit. Can you believe that guy? Um, yes, I adored this movie. I liked it a whole lot. Everybody. Um, I understand what you're getting from Panda, but I actually, I, I, I. I wouldn't use even the second half of this movie. Uh, I wouldn't classify it as run of the mill Hallmark. I thought they they. Were, I'm a I'm becoming a fan of the reality trope. Hallmark's done a couple of those this year, and I I would categorize this movie in that very loosely um, reality. Yeah, it's it's a local Denver you're, reality you're doing show. A little you're you're give, you're being pretty generous. No, I'll give it to you. I'll grant it because they do they do the interviews and stuff like yeah. that, which is yeah. definitely different. Yeah, and it works, and I think it was really fun. This is. Um, a really, really fun, charming, uh, movie, and probably my favorite, uh, like uh, character CCB's played, um, in a in a in a while. I have to go back in time. I think the last CCB movie that I really liked was Journey Back to Christmas. And so yep. it's it's been quite a, it's been a few years. I think it was twenty seventeen. So, um, twenty seventeen was Switch for Christmas. Okay, 2016. Then. Yep. Uh, I really, really like this movie. And I, I agree. I think John Brotherton was a, a delight. I thought they worked really well together. And uh, it's just a really sweet movie. I don't know how high it's going to get. Again, I'm going to have to pray about it and uh, do some soul searching. More room. Uh, but uh, I'll get there. Um, and uh, but, but the short and sweet. Short and sweet. Sh short and sweet. I loved it. Wow. Um, this is a compliment. Uh, this movie is standard bad. Um, and that is a compliment for me for a CCB film. Uh, and, and here's why I will say that. Um, first of all, all, everyone who loved this movie, and the reason this movie is better than the last few that she's done is one reason, one reason only. Joa Botkin 
Joa Botkin wrote the movie. She has written some of the better Hallmark movies. She's responsible for that snappy dialogue. She's responsible for jokes landing. And it's great that, that CCB allowed herself to play a different role. Um, John Brotherton does a good job in this movie. Um, as the I agree with what Panda says. As the movie turns serious, CCB does not land the dramatic side of this. I don't blame that on John Brotherton. That, that when we try to get serious with this movie, it is terrible. It's terrible. When it's lighthearted, fluffy, funny, breezy, brisk, it's watchable. When it's serious, it's awful. And then, unfortunately, it is saddled with what I can only describe as the least amount of effort ever put in to a Christmas contest by the filmmakers <laughs> in any movie I've ever seen, hands down, bar none, under any budget. They put the least amount of work possible into making this thing seem like a real contest, and it undermines the whole operation. Early on, we get some good scenes. We get some snappy dialogue. After that, it, it goes downhill and face plants pretty quickly. This will wind up in the middle of the pack for me, probably somewhere around 17 to 20, yep. um, which for a CCB movie, as high as it's maybe ever been, Shoe Addicts Christmas is better than this movie, in my opinion. Um, aside from that... Uh, of the ones we've covered in in our four seasons, this would be next on the list. Mm. All right, there you go. Oh, no, Journey Back to Christmas was really good. Well, that wasn't in our four seasons. We did. That was a July yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, okay. No, that's I think fair. the one where she's in the, uh, that's Garland for you, is probably. Is that Let It Snow? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, Let It Snow is uh, Jesse uh, Hutch. Under, uh, Chris, uh, under Christmas Very Merry Mix-Up? No. Uh, no. Christmas Under Wraps. Christmas Under Wraps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is probably, under. for my opinion, her quintessential Christmas movie. With the one reindeer, she's the doc. You know, you know yeah. Chris Kringle has like got a heart lot. attack, giving him a cookie. Like that, that's a laugh a minute. Like that's you know, and not then the Paul Green movie with the Christmas the, Detour, not with the uh, yeah, with the 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 board and yeah, the, the dream board. And, yeah, I hate that movie. Yeah, that's tough. a Ron Oliver, but I don't like that movie at all. I, I think Christmas Under Wraps is the is the one in my opinion, uh, and then Journey Back to Christmas would be second for me on that list. I really like Journey Back to Christmas. I know that I shouldn't, but I just really like that. But movie. those two movies have something. Like, yeah. they have a spark in them. Yeah. Like, now I just, you know, I appreciated what they were going for. And CCB laying some jokes in this movie, which I've never been able to say about one of her movies before. So, you know, yeah. God bless you, Joao Botkin, because you, you know, helped a lot here. Let's do the All the Feels part of show. Okay. We're talking about what in this movie gave us feels. Panda? There's a scene where her and... Uh, is it, uh, what's his name, Brotherton? John Brotherton. John. Yes. Uh, are laying by the fire, and they're just casting shadows up on the wall. It's mine it's, as well. It, 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 listen, it, it's a simple scene. There shouldn't be anything that necessarily stands out, but they capture, A, the coziness of the room. It just mm. is great. But second of all, there's something just really neat that I haven't seen a couple do before, where they're having just a really fun time hanging out goofing off but at the same time it's in an intimate setting and i i don't know it gave me feels i really like that i'm a sucker for shadow puppets i'm a sucker for really it. yep interesting i know you're a sucker for shadow puppets it's true me and bran actually have uh shadow pu a puppet sunday where, sh where shadow puppet. never invited me to that we're shadow puppet pals yeah that's yep. fair because i can't do shadow puppets i don't I, oh, you're I, a sucker for him because you cannot personally accomplish the Exactly feat. right. When I see a good shadow puppet, you go nuts. Now it makes sense. Blows my freaking now it makes mind. Sense. I, I, and I try to do it with my hands, and it just looks like, uh, I don't know, like tangled nests. You know tangled what I mean? nests. Yeah. Yes, I can do plus. this. Got I can it. do like a, like a little hand. Well, you hand. can just go this way, and it's a dog. That's a dog. I'll have to see it in the shadow. <laughs> Yeah, that can't envision look like that. A dog. I can't. That looks like it. a hand. Looks like a thumb that and four like fingers. Thumb. You dummy. <laughs> You're talking a big game, but I got to see with the shadow. That's true. That's fair. That's more. And you've fair. never once asked me to lay down next to you and do shadow puppets. You know, those we've done a lot of things together. Must have been lost in the mail because I send Why them. Why are you weekly. mailing them? We live to the, like just a few houses down. Just walk that in. I literally I just text him for my invite. Yeah, we we're well, we're shadow puppet pals. Yeah, yeah. So. I support the post office, and the fact that you guys don't is a little bit disconcerting. But you could buy. Stay. Don't turn this around. It Shadow actually would be denier. helpful. You'd be taking. A, they're very busy this time of year. You could still buy stamps from them, stamp it, and yeah. then just walk it down. Um, I'll maybe I'll give it a shot. Okay. <laughs> you support the post office, but they've literally lost every invite you've ever sent. That's right. Well, no, I'm mailing them, and you're not getting them. I didn't say they lost them. You said, "Why are you mailing them?" You didn't say you didn't get them. You said, "Why are you mailing them?" So that means you could be throwing them away. You could not want to be my shadow puppet pal. And that's on you. How are you possibly turning this around on me? I said I mailed him. You said, why are you mailing him? I've never got him. 
You never gotten them. I've never received them. Yeah, I think I think you're. Hey guys, no, that's on me. I don't. I don't want to share my shadow puppet pal. <laughs> so you go by and go through my mail every and day and intercept them. Mail and I just day. look and I sit there and I go, oh, so, it's an invite, and I just I just take it. Yeah. I have a you whole, know what? I, have a whole I appreciate that. I don't. I don't want. Dan share. can kick rocks. Kick rocks, Dan. Shove off. <laughs> Shove off. Gladly. <laughs> Dan. Uh, yeah, no feels for me. Um, no, no feels. No, no come no on. No feels for me. Sorry. A couple of the jokes landed. I don't remember them now, but yeah, no feels for me. Jerky feels? No, no. That jerky looked terrible. Let's take a quick break here and take on it. We are back. We're talking Christmas contest. It's time for the wait what the part of the show we talk about. What in this movie made us go wait what panda? Uh. First of all, why do the buzzers both ding in the the? Lord only knows. I, I don't understand. Yeah. Um, what? Th- there's a, another point where the tabloid starts picking up the scandal where the two kiss. <laughs> yeah. What? What tabloids picking up local Denver news? Uh, I, I, they're not f- real famous individuals. I, I don't think they are, or, but I also know that the rest of this movie makes as much sense as she's that. She's a does. COO. And he was a he is and he's, he's a he's an old but he's a former baseball. but he's a, I mean like you know former baseball players that have the accolades that they said he had which were like a bunch of all stars and a bunch of like okay like but he is famous enough she is not but by the time they say the tabloids have picked it up it's like yeah I, I but it's you're just, right I I don't know how that would make the front page of any possible tabloid it doesn't make any sense to That's me right. uh. And honestly, I mean, there's a few more, but uh, I'll let you guys have them. So. Listen, I uh, so Santa's zip code <laughs> is set oh. in this is set in this movie to be ho o o o o. I googled this because I was like, is this something I don't know? No, uh, <laughs> it's not. Uh, the official uh, address, if if you're interested, I think I it's from the I post am. office. Is one two three Elf Road North Pole, eight 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 five eights five eights. Not an ouch. Uh, an so H. they made that up and they called it trivia. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm not convinced that all of the trivia in this movie is not made up. Well, I'm the not. speed of light thing that they say is not right. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you'll get to it here. Yeah. Um. I so I mean, like. <laughs> so there's there's so there's trivia which seems pretty cut and dry, but somehow they make it not. There's baking which. Again, I'm that yeah. gingerbread must have been trash for her to not have uh, gotten out because she literally put her face into the pot, the cake. But if anybody can explain to me the <laughs> rules, the 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 rating, how it, what is this singing dancing thing, <laughs> and what does it have to do with Christmas? Christmas baking, one hundred percent. Christmas trivia, sure. Yeah. Talent show. If, if I, no, it's not a talent show though. It's th- that I would be okay with. They're forcing people, regardless of talent, to get up there and sing and dance. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Yeah. I know I'm getting too invested in this contest. No, no, no. That my. But my, if I but if I was in the room where where you know the sausage was made and. I was a part of coming up with Denver's Christmas contest. Listen, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't even have getting gotten close. This is the giant weight what of this movie though. I mean, we start with one of the most ridiculous things ever in a trivia contest where multiple people can buzz in at the same time. Some of the questions aren't trivia and then we slide down a slope into sheer madness. Yeah. The baking scene like how did they judge those? None of them have a bite taken None out of them. None have a bite taken out uh, Candace Cameron Bure fell in hers, and she still doesn't lose. How bad did that gingerbread cookie taste? Must have tasted like dirt. Nobody knows. It's still intact completely. Yeah. Yep. And then we get to a talent show in front of no audience with no backing music. There and is backing music, but it's weird backing and music. And then yes. the host keeps saying that they crushed it, and it's... I don't know if they did. What did I, they crush? I don't know if they did. And how the are problem. points awarded? I don't know. I, it is sheer madness. This is not a Christmas contest. My guess is it had to be based off of your choreography. 
and your outfits. Maybe it's just and it has are nothing to do with singing, like your singing skill, because everybody's singing was the same and bad. Just kind of like yeah, you're like, there on lo, yes. yeah, low and kind of getting the words out. I think it was based off of wardrobe and dance. I just it, it is the 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 lack of effort and planning by the people making this film. Who, if you told me there's a trivia, a baking, and a talent portion, you Hallmark has done all three of those well. Yeah, sure. You got CCB on a Sunday night after Thanksgiving. How did we get this hodgepodge beluga of nothingness on our screen? It was a mess out there, gang. The worst I've ever seen. Dan, go ahead, though. Um, That's my main one. Uh, I do have a couple more. One... CCB in this movie has the worst mom on the planet. Yes. Yeah. Um, Barbara Niven, who is a joy as an actor, they have saddled her with being just mean. mean. Wow. Yep. I mean, CCB is a woman in her 40s who's a COO. <laughs> you just sounded like someone listening to a good sermon. You're like, oh, mm -hmm. man, wow. Amen. Amen. You yeah, said, amen. wow. Wow. It was like, wow. A, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wow. You said, mm, wow. Yeah. I just want to get this straight. Your daughter's in her 40s. She is the COO of a multinational corporation. And you, you're still being just actively mean to her about a boy she may or may, may not date. Mm, under wow. the guise that you care yep. about her heart getting broken. Like, that's good. Good gracious. She's, she's super successful and can take care of herself just a little bit. Like, she's just constantly, like, not comforting and nurturing and just, like, the worst all movie long. But I do want to back up because the reason that CCB gets in this competition is because her mom wants her to help the old folks home with a donation. Mm. When she wins, she get, she wins $25,000 to give her. Now, the average salary of a COO of a multinational corporation, which is what she says she is, is a half million dollars with a roughly is just under a half million dollars with just under a two hundred thousand dollar bonus and one hundred and thirty five thousand dollars of benefits. It's a package worth just shy of a million dollars a year. You couldn't give twenty five k. You couldn't give twenty five k. Instead, you had to do this whole fake contest because you couldn't give twenty five thousand dollars to save a leaky roof. I just don't buy it. I don't buy how that's possible. Um, that that is by and large it for me. That's all I got. Let's get to what the Hallmark Spider Show we want to know could have been. Maybe having some cooler rooms out. Yeah. Uh, Panda. Dan actually already took mine for his. Wait, what? Uh, which was why was the mom so cranky? And yeah. Uh, it just there's oh, no reason. Oh, she's terrible. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. You have somebody who's successful. I, I guess I, I just don't understand the bit. that And, uh, the uh, like, this isn't a wait, what? It is legitimately what occurred at the moment where all of a sudden she turn so quickly and she's willing to encourage her daughter that's just it felt a very it, it felt like it was there was some inconsistency in the writing i want to know what they thought all. they were doing with the character i just want I, I would like to know more about that situation yeah i mean but she all like a uh, lot lara also right before that she turns completely and yes. she says yeah, it's, she she says you're not thinking this through you're not then the next day she quits I right. think the more I think of this movie is it has about 20 minutes of peppy dialogue and jokes, and then it just derails. Yep. Um, I am having a hard time knowing what her name actually is. So I would like definitive. It's L-A-R-A, <laughs> but in the movie it is said Laura and Lara, and I think someone says Laura. So I just want somebody who knows <laughs> to just help a brother out. Let me know what. The name is. Yeah. Because I want to say Laura. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, they keep saying Laura. L-A-R-A. But somebody I, I says Lara. Lara. They said multiple different ways. I yep. just want the when one. It's spelled that way, it should be Lara, right? Yes. It should be Lara. Like, like GMA Lara. Lara. Yeah. yeah. From the flea market show. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I need to know if there was an audition process for the host of the Christmas contest. <laughs> because how did we end up with this guy? Yeah. Um, was there, was it just a thing where it's like, hey, Stan, I know you co-host Good Morning Denver. Well, now you got to do this job too, and he's over it. Or were there other people vying for this job, and he actually won 
the role somehow. That's what I need to know. That's all I got. That's fair, buddy. That's yeah, fair. We did it, everybody. Congratulations. What a week it was, and it wouldn't be a week at Deck the Homework without a double-decker of the week. Mm. Each week, we dive into the life, the story, the um, the history of a double-decker who has signed up. A double-decker. <laughs> of a double-decker. <laughs> Who's a double-decker? Here we paint it. <laughs> Double decker. Who has signed up for Rainbow Gem Plus and has become a double decker. There we go. We got it. We can pronounce our hard R's. A double decker. A double decker. It's a double decker. So it's time for the double decker of the week. Double decker of the week. Double decker of the week. It's Kayla either. Here we have Kayla. The double decker of the week with Panda. It's Kayla. It's either Kayla Bre- Brelinthin or Brelinthin. I don't know which. I'm gonna. Which one do you think it is? Since you're the Brelinthin. Brelinthin. Yep. Okay. Uh, Kay- <laughs> Kayla, let me tell you. Top uh, notch. Mm, uh, what's the next level above top notch, Dan? Medium Ooh, notch. Above it. You High. Dumb dumb. <laughs> Double Deco of the week. It's a double Deco of the week. Yeah, I'm, just gonna, I'm week. gonna take the rest of this episode double off. I'm, gonna, week. I'm gonna enjoy you guys. Okay, go just ahead. Hit me. Uh, so, uh, Kayla, she has created a brand new uh, podcast review. So, not she's not reviewing podcasts, but she uh, reviews uh, new things called I and it's called Apple in. Watch. But it's a podcast. It is a podcast where she reviews. So it's a review podcast. Yeah. Okay. Where she reviews. Why did Apple you call Watch. it a podcast review? That sounds like a stage play. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand She's the question. I'm a not going to answer. Podcast. Yes. That reviews, reviews things. Uh, reviews Apple Watch. The, and the podcast is called Apple, Apple Watch. Watch, and she okay. reviews. Uh, what apples. do you mean that review? Wa- we've already done a full bit on the fruit <laughs> apple. We've already done it, but I have a feeling we're going back to that well again, that orchard, if you will. Sure. She's watching actual apples. Yes. Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. She goes to an orchard and she watches and she gives a review every week on the updates of it. <laughs> what What apples this season? Uh, There's probably more than one. Yeah. Keep up. Gala. You can't Macintosh, keep Fuji, an eye Fuji. on more than one apple. But one per but episode. She's, yeah, man. one per Come episode. On. She's just giving an update every week. Think about that. Yeah. It's a weekly and it's, update. She has different I segments. Just, I'm sorry. It's the I Gala just segment assumed. of the week. I just assumed that like each season was a different, like watching a different. That trend. would be the dumbest podcast I've ever heard. Okay, well let's find out what this one is. Apple, 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 apple watch. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Apple Watch. Hi. It's hey, it's, dar- darling. It's Darlene. Hey, it's Sandy. Sandy, you guys doing all right today? Oh, so, so good. good. Let's watch an apple. Hey, Sandy, show. you want to queue up our first segment? It's Fuji time. It's Fuji time. <laughs> now, if you remember last week, this sweet pea was trying to run off on us. <laughs> Darlene, are you okay? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. Sometimes you get lost in the (laughs) ocean. He he is a fun (laughs) one. Yes, Andy, you're right. (laughs) Darlene's a fun one. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, you get me she's, our, she's our regular Granny Smith. <laughs> <laughs> This week, not trying to run off anymore. No, we got her on a park bench. Oh, good. Yeah, keep her eye on the her. The sun's sitting, hitting pretty hard though. Oh, oh, she could overripe. You gonna be a rotten apple? <laughs> yeah, rotten. <laughs> Tell him you're rotten. <laughs> oh God. <laughs>
Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast. It's presented by Philo TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. Set decor is by Plum at Haywood Mall. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on Bramble Jam podcast network, you can go to bramblejampodcast.com.